Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tamika and today I'm just going to be doing a quick little video testing out a few ColourPop products. I did show these over on Instagram and asked if you wanted to see them in a reel or in a YouTube video and it was majority YouTube video. So that's where we're at today. First thing I have are the Cheek Dew Serum Blushes. And I know these were released a while ago, but I heard such good things and all the shades just like spoke to me. They were freaking beautiful. Well, they are beautiful. So I picked up two. First is the shade Hotline. And I think this is the one I'm going to be using today. It is so beautiful. And then I thought I would pick up something a little bit different because I definitely have like my favorite shades when it comes to blush. So I thought I'd spice it up and this shade is called Psst. A lot darker than what I usually grab, but I'm really excited to try it out. Um, so let's have a look. What do these say on the box? Nothing. Let's have a look what they say on the website. <laughs> Oh my God, just having a look, there are so many beautiful shades in this blush. I want them all. Now this one retails for seven US dollars and you get 13.5 grams in the tube. Now I think I picked them up, Colourpop was having a sale because shipping to Australia can be a little, well actually I don't think it's expensive, it's the exchange rate that gets you because once it converts to Australian, you're like, let's take an extra 20 bucks. <laughs> but anyway, it says that the Cheek Dew is a lightweight, mistake proof liquid blush that blends into skin like a dream with customizable coverage to create the perfect flush of dewy, healthy looking color. So I'm expecting this to have a lot of glow. I'm expecting it to be thin. I'm just expecting that natural, flushed, beautiful look. Okay, I've just put a little bit onto a palette and I'm blending it out. It does feel a little thicker than I thought. It kind of feels a little bit sticky, but it's definitely got that serum formula to it. Oh, it's very sheer. Okay, I'm excited. So this shade Hotline is described as a soft, warm pink. And let's see what is described as. Okay, now looking on the website and the model with this blush on, I remember why I picked up this shade. I'll insert the picture of the model. Oh. So, psst, is described as a warm mid-tone rose. Now, I think I'm actually going to use my Beauty Blender to apply these. I'm going to use the Bum. I have got on foundation, concealer, and a cream bronzer. I haven't powdered anything yet, though. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of color payoff from that one, but it's definitely dewy. I feel like it's sitting nicely over the rest of my makeup. I've just got a bit of hair stuck in there. <laughs> Get out. Oh my God, it is so dewy. It looks beautiful. The only thing is there's not a lot of um, color payoff. Okay, on the other side, I'm going to use Okay, so I'm getting a bit more color payoff on this side. Still not a lot, like they are very, very sheer. But I am loving that dewy finish. Like it just looks so healthy and glowy. Yes. Might take a little bit of that other shade and just pop over the top. So I'm looking a bit more even. I am really happy with the formula. It'll be interesting to see how long they last. I do wish Oh, that I got maybe more of a bright shade. I think in this you need something really bold, like a hot pink or a like a really bright orange because then once it shears out, you're still getting the beautiful color. Whereas like this shade, Hotline, because it's already a light pink, you're not getting much of that color. All right, so I'm just using a little bit of soap to brush my brows into place because now I have the Feather Effect Brow Pen to try out. And if you've been watching my channel, you would know that I am obsessed with brow pens. They are like one of the best makeup items that I have come across. I freaking love them. So I picked up two shades. I've got medium brown and light brown. Let me give them a little swatcheroo. They apply nice. All right. 
medium brown, light brown. Now these have a very, very, very tiny little tip. Look at that. Let me compare it to, what is it as well? It's a felt tip. So let me compare it to another felt tip. This here is the Essence Tiny Tip Brow pen that I love. Look at the size difference. I actually think I need a little bit of brow pencil first. So let me just go in with my Maybelline Ultra Slim and give them a little something. All right, I'm going to go in with light brown first. So I don't have a lot of hair going on in the tail. So let's flick it there. All right, it's very light. So let me try the medium brown. Oh my God, this is the most fine stroke. Wow. Okay, I think they actually make a good mix together. I don't think I could go in with the medium brown for my whole brow because it is pretty dark, but I've just put a few little strokes in the front there and in the tail. I'm digging it, okay. I really, really like that product. I think the light brown is a bit more warm and I prefer a cool tone brow. So the mix of them together actually worked really nicely. <laughs> Let me check how much these retail for. I'm sure they were cheap as. So these brow pens retail for eight US dollars and they come in the three shades, light brown, medium brown, and black brown. I love the packaging too. I feel like it's very um, like sleek and I don't know, it just looks nice for ColourPop. And then lastly, I picked up some eyeshadow palettes. So first up, I have the Going Coconuts palette. I have been eyeing this one off for so long and I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. This is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. And then I decided to pick up some of their little mini palettes. So these ones come with four shades. And again, I just love the packaging. It's clear, it looks beautiful. So this is Dare to Bear, and this has four matte brown shades. I feel like these four tones are just perfect for a brown palette. Like, I freaking love that. Oh my God. And then I also picked up this one called Sorbet. And this is more of a rosy pink. Oh, two mattes and two shimmers. Now I am going to go in with the Going Coconuts palette because I feel like this is a pretty popular one and I'd love to see what all the hype is about. Oh my God, like I don't even know what colors to choose. Just look at these shimmers. They are beautiful. And these two mattes here, oh. All right, I think I actually might go in with these rosier tones because I always do a brown. Oh, I don't know. Because... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this shade here throughout my crease, maybe deepen it up with this one and a bit of this shimmer on the lid. Let's go for it. Um, this mirror has a big palette too. No, that's not right. It's like I figured it out halfway through, but then I kept going. This palette has a big mirror too. <laughs> Super pigmented and that is blending beautifully already. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this up already. <laughs> Seriously, that has built up and blended beautifully. It looks so smooth. Oh my God, I love it. Actually, just taking a closer look, this shade and this shade here, they're matte, but they have a slight bit of shimmer in it. Like they're not as metallic as this row, but they just have a little bit of like a glitter in there. Very pretty. Cause I'm actually going to go in with this lighter shade and just blend the edges. But it does have that little bit of a shimmer, so we'll see. All right, in with that deeper brown now. And now for the shimmer, I'm going in with this middle shade called Coco Crush. I'm so excited. Where's the brush I want? 
You're bloody kidding me. Look at that. Oh my God. It is so pretty. Wow. I definitely need a deeper shade to blend those two together. So I'm also going to take a little bit of this darker shimmer and just like tap it in the middle there. And then I'll just go in and tidy up the edges. This little brush has become my favorite thing in the world. It's the Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender. And it's just like a little teeny tiny blending brush. It is so good to get into the crease. It's good for the lower lash line. It is just like the best. All right, lower lash line, I'm going to do the same matte shade and a little bit of the deeper shade. And then I think that's it. All right, so eyes are finished. I used the Kmart Limitless lashes mascara i'm really really digging this i'm hoping that my kmart makeup video is up already if it is i'll link it down below but this is like a mini version of the Too faced better than sex like the wand is the same but it's smaller and it just works so bloody good and then i am going to go in with this nyx lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade undressed i think this is going to compliment the eyes very well. All right, well, this is the finished look. I am really happy with those products. The eyeshadow palette was beautiful and I am expecting the exact same quality for these little ones here. The brow pens worked beautifully, love them. And I do love the finish of the blushes. I think I prefer this side because it is a bit more pigmented in color, but beautiful. I'm really impressed. All right, well, let me know your thoughts below and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And that is all from me. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.